Welcome everyone. This is the third video tutorial on outlier treatment using R programming language. In the previous two tutorial, we have seen how to discard outliers from the dataset and how to use the technique of winsorizing to treat for the outliers. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can use variable transformation to treat for the outliers. So let us get back to our R studios. We are using the same data that we have used in the previous two videos. And let's check the data. And we have deliberately selected 40 samples between 1 and 20. And we have introduced two outliers, 65 and 80. So we know that this is a data set of length 42. We uh, Let us check the summary of this data. The maximum is 80, the third quartile is 17.75, the first quartile is 6.25. Now let us visualize this data using the box plot. So this is the visualization that we have been seeing in the last two videos that the bulk of the data is between 0 and 20 where there is one value right over here 65 and one value right over here 80 which are the two outliers present in my data set. Now we are going to use variable transformation technique and see that whether we can get rid of these outliers. Logarithm transformation is one of those in, uh, one of these in, those interesting transformation that can actually drag these values inward. So let's do one thing. Let's take the uh, log of data. Let's run it. And so what we have taken, we have taken the logarithm of the data, this entire data set, and set it as a new vector named log data. Now, what we are going to do is to uh, is to see this, look at this new data set that I have just created by taking the log transformation of the original data and visualize it using the box plot. And see, so we are done. See, the log transformation actually helped to get rid of the outliers. The y-axis is on the logarithm scale now, so the interpretation is going to be different. And we are going to tackle all that, but right now, what we have done is that we have tackled the outliers using the variable transformation that we have used in this method. So log transformation actually helped. We can also we could also use quadro transformation, whichever works. So in the next video tutorials, I'm going to discuss more about data analysis and predictive modeling. So if you want to know more about it, do subscribe. Keep watching. Thank you very much. Goodbye.